So next we're going to do Catch the Wind by Donovan. We're just, uh, by coincidence, uh, in the capo zone here. So let me just show you the intro to this first, and then we'll, we'll go from there. So the intro goes like this. So what I'm doing is I'm starting with a, with a C bass note, and then I'm uh, strumming the top part, top three strings. Then I'm going to do this. On the, instead of the bass note here, I'm going to do this, these two. Then I switch to my F add nine, and again. note open D string that's like a G chord there's like a and there's another bass note it's a passing note okay so again F D F okay you can check the tabs I won't spend too much time explaining it, but it's, it's a really cool intro. Now in the actual song, you don't have to do all that complicated picking all the time. You can just do a simple strum pattern and it's really like a triplet feel. So it's like, you can count it as one triple T, one, so one triple T, one triple T. And that's a full bar, okay? So you do the C, F add nine. Now the third bar, you're gonna do half a bar of this, and then half a bar of this, and then it's your F. So the first four bars of the verse, real slow. In the chilly hours of the night, I'm uncertainty, I want to be. I'll, I'll play through the whole thing once so you can see how it goes. Notice when I got to the G7 there, which by the way was shaped like this, first, first fret, high E string, I did the um, little walk up to get to the next chord. C, 